of the eye with the trachoma parasite, which causes the eyelashes to grow inwards and pierce the eyeball. It is the most painful condition known to man, and it leads eventually to blindness. This lady nearly went blind with trachiasis. The Royal Commonwealth Society of the Blind spent eight dollars giving her the necessary treatment, and is she displeased about it, do you think? That's, that eight dollars was better spent than all the trillions that they're going to spend on trying to make so-called global warming go away. And here you see the helpless, hopeless, hopeful eyes of the children of Africa. They are poor now. They are starving now. They need education now. They need health care now. They need medication now. They need clean water now. They need safe sewerage now. They need electricity now. And are we to say no to these people as they look at it? No, you can't have it. Because we've been told that the consensus says we have to save the planet. If you save the planet and let so many of its citizens die of cruel starvation and disease, in what sense are we saving anything? There is a moral dimension here. It's very important to understand it. And what about our own working people? What about the mining industry, threatened here in Australia? Not just by the carbon tax, but then by the MRRT following on behind. The heroes of labour for me, that's what they are. The people who dig the darkness underground to bring men light. Are we going to spit on them, kick them in the teeth, throw them out of a job, leave their families hopeless, helpless, defenceless, unemployed? Is that what we think is the future of our fellow citizens of Australia? So when Kevin Rudd, remember him, said this was a moral issue for our generation. Yes, by all means. So it is. And Kevin, baby, you made a rude lecture about me. He spent 45 minutes on national television November two years ago, attacking Moncton personally. Do you know, Kevin, we haven't even been introduced. <laughs> and this is what he did. And look what happened to him. <laughs> so, so, is somebody going to yell out behind you? So, Julia, darling, you're next. <laughs> But this is Australia. I love your country to bits. Your down-to-earth common sense. You are the people who, by your strength of character, have dared to come here and be present when we question those who wish to take away not merely your economic future, not merely your power and your mining and your farming, all the great industries that made Australia great. They're going to try and take away that common sense. They're going to try and take away Australia's very independence, democracy, and freedom. And you are not going to let them. So I conclude by saying, God bless Australia.